What's up, Metal Maniacs? Day one, Nam, 2018. Guess who stopped Woo! by to join me for MaximumThreshold.net, Maximum Threshold Radio? Jason Bittner. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. How are you? Thank you, man. Thank you for joining me. I'm doing fantastic. First interview He's with Jason. Sunglasses. He's lucky. Yeah. Hey, brother. <laughs> Last time we spoke was at the Whiskey in Hollywood. You were with this little yep. band called Flotsam and Jetsam. A lot of has yep. changed yep. since then. You yep. want to fill the fans in? What's going on with you, bro? Uh, and we don't. <laughs> and, and when he says little, we don't mean little as in any disrespect. Exactly. To the not, level of the band. Or it's being. Like that. I'm being sarcastic. It's, an, it's, it's in a. It's in a loving, loving manner. Yeah. Although Michael Gilbert is little. <laughs> Love you, buddy. Uh, I've been, Solid guitar I've player, been, by the way. I have been playing. Uh, one of my favorite guitar players I've ever played with, actually. Um, since March, I have been, well, no, actually not since March, since February, I've technically been in New Jersey's finest, Overkill. Badass. Uh, Seen them, love them. One of my all-time favorite bands. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just absolute fucking honor for me to be in this band. Um, I've had some of the, so anyways, I, we talked about it in February, <laughs> but... At that time, I was still in Flotsam. and we still had a tour mm -hmm. that was booked in, in Europe. We didn't announce anything until April of this year because Overkill was very respectful of, mm -hmm. of not wanting anything to disturb Step on you, basically. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They, they didn't want, like, you know, Blitz said even, he's like, look, he goes, in mm -hmm. case, you know, AK's doing an interview is the last thing we want them to hear. So why is Jason leaving and going to Overkill? Yeah. Because I heard that enough from, from people because exactly. people, people were like, well, you said Flotsam was one of your favorite bands, too. And I'm like, yeah, they are. But I like apples and I like oranges. I, yeah. I like both of them. Exactly. I, are you going to stick with apples all the time, or you know, no, once in a while? Yeah, the, exactly. But the point is, the 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 one that I'm I'm in, I have a longer history with. I've mm -hmm. I've known, I've known Blitz and Dee since my early twenties. Yep. Like like that, and you know, and I'm 48 now. So that's it's been a long time. I've known those guys. Um, I've been going to Overkill shows since I was mm -hmm. 16 years old, um, and for some strange reason, I always thought that I'd end up playing in this band. I don't know why that is. It just it's one of those weird things. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, it was it was the affinity for how I felt about the band when they first started playing and going to the live shows and stuff like that. And they're building walls all around us. <laughs> Apparently, apparently Catering's there's, there's going on. Yeah, apparently the interview <laughs> is not a not a thing that happens at Nam. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Continue on, man. Continue on. We're good. We're good. Hey, man. That's that's what I love about rock and roll. About rock and roll, man. Just let it flow. So, anyways. Uh, so yeah. So um, since March or since uh, April, we announced it, and we've been playing live shows since June of this year. And we've gone halfway around the world already, and we're gonna circle around the globe in next month. So it's been Sorry. fucking awesome, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Well, yeah. well, I mean, I re yeah. I remember the last time we spoke, we spoke about you know a little bit of terrorism. I mean, you almost you almost got shot up at the AK-47. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you had some you great know, stories from the road, man. Yeah, and, and it was funny. It, what's funnier about that tour or that that story? Yeah. Um, is that our the the girl that does our merch, Sophie, mm -hmm. also does merch for Flossum and Jetsam. So she was on that tour with me. Yeah. So when I told the guys in Overkill about that story, it was nice to have someone else there to be like, yeah. And and and, and this she yeah. saw this on yeah. that side of the room. Yeah. You know? And then so and it, then yeah, they were spitting at us. Yeah, and it's, <laughs> but it's 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 different when you have someone shoes else, at us. <laughs> when you have someone else who experienced it. Yeah. And then, um, then we were in Belgium one night, mm -hmm. and that's where our sound guy, uh, Flotsam sound guy Martin, lives, and he's the one that diffused the situation at that. Point. Yeah, I remember. And I then remember. when all three of us were at the yeah. show, and then that subject got brought up, then you have the three mm -hmm. of us, and we're like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was definitely the. Uh, all of us were in agreement that was like that, that was that was definitely was, the most I, fucked up night I've I ever think, had. <laughs> I think, I, I mean, I've heard some pretty doozies, man, but that that rakes up the the, the, the that it was, as regards to it's, it's, to any encountering, you know, because it, again, it's a communication. It look to me, it's like a communication factor, man. You know, 
everybody knows music. They love music. It doesn't matter what country you're from. But you know, when you, when tensions rise, you know what I'm saying. You, you know, yeah. they, they don't. They don't it's yeah. like a miscommunication factor uh, right there. I, you know, I, I learned I learned two things that night. You know, that was the mm. first that was the first time I think ever ever in my entire career of mm. 20 plus years of being on the road, where I actually said. Is this shit really worth it? Yeah. Like really? Yeah. I'm. This is how I'm gonna die in a, yeah. in a rest yeah. area in, a in Belgium. Fucking, in, yeah. Are you fucking kidding yeah. me? Yeah. That's all I kept saying to myself. Yeah. And I'm like, holy shit. Yeah. And and I I learned two things that night. Number one, if the bus breaks down, you fucking never leave it. I don't care if it's in the middle of the yep. road and oh, some the truck might hit it and spin it. I don't give a shit. I yeah. will take that chance. Yeah. I'll, I'm not leaving the bus ever again. Man. Break down, fine. Break down right in the middle of the highway. I'm yeah. sitting right here. That <laughs> and number two, nothing is, no, nothing in music is worth losing yep. your family for. Lesson. <laughs> Lesson learned. <laughs> hey, so let's get back to Overkill. So what's 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 going on with Overkill as regards to writing process? Anything? Anything uh, in, the, in the in the in the can or anything? As of right this very moment, uh, Bobby Blitz is about two miles down the road that way <laughs> at, <laughs> at, at his hotel. Uh, Dave Linsk, I think, is is here by now. Okay. Uh, Derek's back home in Jersey. What time is it in New York right now? Uh, it's probably what. It's probably it's so 7.30? Are, yeah. Dee Dee is probably finally emerging from the studio from the for the day. <laughs> uh, where he is diligently well, he is diligently at work finishing up the demos to You can send all first. hate mail to care of. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, he, no he, he, he's not a NAM guy anyways. Oh yeah. Um, you gotta have yeah. He lives and breathes in the studio for yeah. the road. Yeah, that's 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 where he, he loves to be. So he's finishing up uh, the new material. Right on. So as soon as we get any, back home, we any, start working uh, on... Uh, any uh, ballpark on the, on the release? Uh, you know, just kind of like ballpark it. Uh, maybe summertime, maybe? No, no. I, I think uh, we're talking summertime is the latest to be done with drums. So I oh, think, wow. I think okay. it's either going to be a fall, winter, or okay. it's going right. so, yeah. to be early 2019. I know... This, this I do know is that okay. we already have a tour that starts in February of 2019, so it needs to be done by yeah, then. Yeah, exactly. Hey, so who are you, who are you repping uh, here at NAM? I know every time I see you, you're always repping somebody, man. Who's your, who's your, like, your main, your main, your main uh, company that you rep? Uh, I mean, my, my drum and cymbal companies are the t top two, Pearl and Zildjian. Um, Pearl Drum, Zildjian Cymbals, the best, uh, the best on the market, I think. Uh, not just because I play them, but because yes. I I feel comfortable with them. I, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. I am. I'm no, they are. They are. They I'm are comfortable solid. with them, and they and they they sound they sound awesome for everything I want to do and any sound I want to hear. I agree. They have. Them. And you are a shredder, my man. Uh, there's no Thank there's no no there's no there's no. I'm not kissing your ass because you're right here, man. Sorry. Right. No, no, no. I'm being serious, man. You you fucking you shred, dude. There's no doubt about it, man. I've, so, I've said Shadow Falls, man. I mean, come on. I mean, I mean, we won't even get into that question. I'm not gonna even touch that question. Pearl, uh, Pearl, Zildjian. DW, I'm not skirting the issue. <laughs> Remo heads, no, not, Promark drumsticks, there. Gator cases. You people been asking. Calzone that. hard cases. Right on. West Tone in ears. And you're gonna be here Saturday, Hopefully, Sunday. I'm sorry. Ultimate in ears, I think maybe. You're gonna be here Saturday and Sunday. I'm right? here all weekend. Oh, you're here all I'm weekend. Here hey, so you here? This will probably be up around that time. So if you're here, check this guy out. You can also go to his websites. Overkill, obviously, you can keep track of Overkill's websites. I mean, that's easy shit to follow, man. That's Facebook, Twitter, Twitter, all that shit. What's your personal site, my man? www.jasonbittner.com. Awesome, man. Anything else you want to plug, man? Or anything else you want to you know, talk Bonzo about? Bonzo Bash tomorrow yep, night. That's right. I'm sorry. My bad. Randy Bonzo Rose Bash, rest in peace. The next night. Another person, Playing rest in peace. that one, too. Yeah. And uh, Saturday we'll be handing out various edibles and treats from <laughs> Revolution Emporium, which is our dispensary that we have up in Northern California. Northern California. And which do you have the site for them? They want to check it out. www.revolutionemporium.com. If you see me here at NAM, come come see us and try some higher confections candies. There you go. Good candies. Yep. <laughs> All right, man. Well. Jason, always a pleasure to talk to you, man. Thanks, always, man. man. You are you are the rad dude, man. I appreciate it. Enjoy your stay, man. Uh, your Nam, your Nam adventure, uh, man. Fuck, man. Just like I said, just keep us posted, man. What's going on? And uh, hey, man, check this guy out, man. You, you know it. who he is. You know what he what he does, man. This is Rad Chef from MaximumThreshold.net. Horns up, bitches. Mm -hmm.